Welcome to our reading for Wednesday the 4th of January 2017. Remember it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time, at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave, preparing for that wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave? Also, feel free to make this an interactive video if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the playlist below. See if there's more signs and symbols in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the moment for the reading. Welcome to our reading for Wednesday the 4th of January 2017. We're going to get back on track with timing with this reading and start with the Sun and Moon Tarot. Let's see what kind of energy is coming on through for us. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. Let's get clarity and focus on the energy coming through for the day and wisdom for us all to ride these energies best. Let's begin with one card for the day, Wednesday, the 4th of January 2017. All right, let's begin with one card. Wisdom for our day. And that's the Ace of Pentacles. So <laughs> I hear like bells and I, I can hear myself in the reading yesterday and I said something sort of sarcastic that was like this isn't the, the old like here you go here's your gift what are you gonna do with it yesterday was you getting on board with it today is the gift <laughs> today is that gift coming through that opportunity that's something special for you um, this is the golden ticket the ace of Pentacles it's something that you can put in the earth Put in your reality, put in your physical um, world, you know, what you put your energy, your time, your value into, where you put your energy, and it can grow, it can connect. Oh, that's cool. Let me show you something. Look up there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So... And there's also a there is also a balance between the right and left hemisphere, like music, art, creativity. It you know takes some scientific calculations and such, and being really really precise with the uh, sacred geometry. But there's still room for growth, room to think outside the box, you know, to paint outside the lines a little bit and make it work. Find that balance be between perfect structure and chaotic brilliance, you know, today. Where does that balance uh, find its way to you? Where, this is usually just an opportunity. It's, it's the door open, um, something knocking, like, hello, hello, this is for you. Um, it could be something that in the past was presented to you, you would have walked right by, you may have felt insecure about, you could have felt like it wasn't the right time, um, you don't have, you didn't have enough, like I'm seeing like, <laughs> like balls, like big balls, you didn't have big enough balls yet, guy or girl, maybe in the past to handle that opportunity and now it's presenting itself either again, for the first time, or I, I see like something clearing, like a clearing the slate. Wow, that just made me think of something really weird too. Um, my dad got a chia pet thing plant for Christmas and we just soaked the seeds and it has all the like seeds on the hairdo. So maybe there's something growing. You know, there's something that's just starting to sprout, just 
fresh in its growth, but it's going to create bigger growth, bigger abundance in your world through the seasons. The longer you hold this, the longer you nurture it, the longer you work with it, the longer you give it attention, the bigger it gets, the more beautiful it becomes. The, um, I'm seeing somebody like sing to their plants. All of a sudden, I'm not recommending you go sing to your chia pet, but maybe it's, Connecting with actual nature, mother nature. Maybe there's a bit of the world here. Maybe you're venturing out. Maybe your connection was just one little neighborhood or spot before, and you're having a bigger connection, putting something online. Um, bro, I'm getting more customers. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is in your reality. So, you know, it, it could go to job, work, where you actually get up and put your energy in every day. That could be your family, you know, your daily duties, what you do, rearranging your schedule so things flow better. So your children are involved in things that make them grow. I'm seeing somebody, somebody like maybe you have a, maybe you have a child thinking about starting an instrument or a lesson, or that's you feeling like a child. Like, I don't know. I'm how old I shouldn't start this stuff now. I should have done this when I was five. Um, you know, it could be something that's a little frustrating in the beginning. Sometimes when you first pick something up, it's a little frustrating until you get over the hump. You know, till you see over that horizon one time, you get a, give it a spin, give it a go, you know, get in the middle there and feel it. This opportunity only comes when you're ready, not when you're not ready. So don't let it pass you by. Don't let something drop out of your hands. Don't let this drop out of your hands, maybe again, or, you know, realize the value in what this is because it's something that feels good to you. It feels like it's something that if you continue to give it energy, it'll grow for you. It'll, it'll become prosperous, bigger, abundant, mature, enriching, like become alive. I feel like it's almost like, um, like when there's, uh, maybe a forest fire or clearing of land, you know, some regeneration can grow. It's like there were seeds, bulbs, energy underneath the surface that was just ready to come out, come up new. You know, it needed a new season. Something new had to change. Something had to grow first or regenerate. I'm getting regeneration. So maybe this hasn't happened yet. It's still an ace. It's still an idea. It still has to be held and nurtured and you have to give it attention and time and work with it and step by step it becomes this growth in your world that you feel every day you feel abundant every day with this thing this thing that comes in is something coming in that can make you feel abundant every day that's huge it's taking that little seed and making it a cornucopia in your life with what you have from one little idea, one interview, one conversation, one relationship in your world, one support system that gets you going, you know, one chance to build something new. I'm saying like school, this could be school getting, I see books all of a sudden. So maybe, um, blossoming information, blossoming ideas. Um, I'm even seeing like, <laughs> like a round table brainstorming. So maybe there's brainstorming going on, communication going on, different energies that add to the mix. And um, I'm getting a connection, not just with inside of you. Inside of you, it starts, this idea comes to you first, but I feel like it snowballs somewhere. It snowballs in your world and makes your life feel like it's more abundant or it snowballs out into the world, you know, uh, like a more sacred energy, a more sacred divine kind of growth and connection, maybe connecting to others that have a similar energy frequency or um, maybe the opposite energy, maybe like an exchange of energies. So where there's maybe something you're, you're really good at or you have value or you can offer, there's a way out there where there's someone else that has something else of value, you know, for like a, a, an exchange of energy, you know, but equal value, maybe not the same thing. So it starts with you putting some value into what you do, that valuable idea that's come to you, that valuable class, um, maybe promotion, you know, this could be just that thing that falls into your world that helps you rearrange your schedule, schedule to get yourself down the right road later. Um, I'm seeing like, like I get a golden ticket or an opportunity. So it could be a break. 
You know, it could be this is that big opportunity to take, you know, some solitude, some rest, you know, regenerate yourself, maybe sleep a little bit, get your energy back so you can get back to work. So maybe you do it different with a different energy, a new spark. Um, I feel like a new excitement, even though um, I know this is a Pentacles card. I feel like the yellow is, uh, uh, there's like yellow and orange here. And I feel like it's like uh, creativity and being yourself and um, warm. Like I'm getting like sunset energy. So maybe like romantic energy watching the sunset. Um, maybe there was something that you watched pass you by, like pass you by or it was like you thought it'd take a long time and before you know it was quick, you know, the sun was out. I'm getting like, you know, the sun is out all day long and I have all day to do this. And then, you know, you're like, oh, that's a pretty sunset. And you think you have all this time and you go to get your camera and you put a new battery and before you know it, it's gone. It was really quick. Right when it reached the horizon, it was right slipping through your fingers. So don't let something slip through your fingers if you feel like it's there for you. Hold on to it. Take it for a ride, take it for a spin, you know, plant something in solid ground, give it some nutrients, sing to it, see what it becomes, you know, see where it goes. Um, it's worth waiting for, it's worth waiting around for, it's worth um, putting some energy into this. So what feels worthy to you, you know, where do you feel like your value is being returned and received and reciproc reciprocated and... I'm getting appreciated. So wherever this is, is leading towards appreciation in yourself, maybe for making that decision, taking a chance, taking an opportunity, saying yes. I feel like this is also a big yes card when it comes through like, yes, if you were wondering, yes, a yes or a no, yes. But it's that yes that makes you feel right about something. You know, it doesn't mean it's ready to all come through now. It's all ready to happen and become this big thing that you can see in the future. But it's that small step towards that big thing. It's that small yes that gets you in the door. It's that one, I'm getting like, I don't know. I'm getting somebody doing something like, like physical in an audition. Like somebody who's maybe, maybe like me, a little bit physical with your, the way you talk. Um, but uh, maybe you're a dancer, yeah, I'm getting a dancer or something, or there's a way to do physical movement. I don't know where that just took me, but I just saw an audition or something like that. And maybe it's just a small part to get you in the door. Um, that small thing you say, that special flair that you have, the way that you move. Um, that just made me think of, I like the, uh, the way you move outcast. So I'll put that below. Um, maybe it's finding the right song, finding the right groove for you, finding that right beat, or putting your flair on something else. Um, your own twist, your own movement on something that somebody uh, expected to be a certain way. I hope that made sense. Sometimes I just go on a, like a side, <laughs> like a side road for a little bit, and I hope that was helpful. Let's continue. Let's move along to the Guardian Angel Tarot. Clarity on the Ace of Pentacles. Um, before I do, before I do this, um, I have this, the Words of Truth. It's a really big deck, and I don't use it very often, but um, for some reason I grabbed it for this reading. So since this is an Ace of Pentacles, um, let me just pull a few cards, and I'll let you... Um, interpret them I guess let's do this in three piles because it's a really big deck so let's start with one card from the first pile clarity on the ace of pentacles for Wednesday the fourth one card laughter that's nice so Maybe it's, maybe that's, maybe that's an audition or something like that. And it's, you know, maybe it's just seeing the humor in a situation, seeing how far, huh, like you've come from all that shit that you had to go through, like all the growth that has happened and how it's almost like humorous now. You can laugh about how far you've come because you've gained so much more, or it's just lightening up today, finding how 
maybe I'm, I'm seeing something slip by. So maybe it was funny how something slipped you by, but now is the perfect moment. Now, now is the more divine moment. Now is the time when, oh, you know, you're ready for it. Like, here it is. You're ready. I'm getting, like, happy laughter. Um, I mean, how laughter is happy, but almost like, oh, that one's fun. Trust. Trust just jumped, and I felt like I didn't really pull that one. It jumped, so let's get another one from this pile with trust and laughter. Um, I'm feeling like, you know, like that kind of laughter that you have with somebody when you just, like, you can't stop laughing. Like, you're just, everything is really funny. Like, really, maybe, you, maybe it's just the day to laugh. Um, find that moment when you can just maybe just watch a funny movie. Maybe something's going to come through really funny. You're going to, like, you're going to be really funny today. Like, if you're a comedian or something, you're going to be on today. Or maybe it's that humor that gets you in the door. You know, it's your humor that gets you in the door. Trust that yours is the right one to make that connection. You know, it might not be the usual type of humor. <laughs> I just saw a whoopee cushion for some reason. Or, like, <laughs> it makes me think of, like, the person that's sitting in the car waiting for you. And you go in front of the car and they beep the horn to kind of scare you as you walk. Like, ah! You know, like, maybe it's a different type of humor. Maybe it's jokes, um, or words, or laughter. Just, maybe it's just your laugh. I know people who have the most infectious, beautiful, harmonic laugh. Like, I just like to be around them because their laugh is beautiful and healing. And sort of makes you want to laugh. Sort of like, um, a yawn, but better. You know, you yawn, like you see somebody yawning and... Your reflexes mirror them, but this is like laughter. So maybe there's somebody around you, you recognize them by their laugh, or it's the laugh that's important. And I think it's that card, ease. So be easy, don't overdo it. <laughs> you know, make sure it's natural. And um, I'm hearing spontaneous. Don't plan it so much. These two just fell. Um, trust whatever comes through spontaneously is probably the better plan than when you had plan. I feel like if you had so much planned, especially in a conversation or an interview, then it probably is going to go out the window. Just so you know, I see somebody like taking something and like throwing it out the window, like letting that go. So maybe you need to throw something away that you thought you had to be or do and be yourself. Just trust you'll be yourself. You're strong. Oh, you also have release, so maybe that's that throw, <laughs> the release, and you have creator. So, um, it's time to release something you couldn't control and bring control back into your world by starting to create your own reality, to put that creative spirit, that creative energy into what you do to come up with creative solutions and to create something, birth something. This could also be your connection to source, the creator, God, the universe, you know, um, your angels, your spirit guides and making, you know, I feel like a specific connection to today that maybe puts you at ease, makes you feel like you have released some burdens of the past, had some healing, some forgiveness for yourself, for others, maybe for just fate, having to go through the shit you did, and perhaps seeing it in a different light. I just thought of something really strange, and um, let's pull one more card, and I'll tell you what I just thought of. Uh, I'm not sure why that came through right now. Let's get one more card. All right, so that's a nice card to end with. So imagine, you know, everyone's heard the story of going through the tunnel and the life review and everything, when it's your time, when it's our time, it's all our time at some point. But imagine it a little different. Instead of the same old, same old, you get a life review, you get a snapshot of your life, you see the whole thing, you feel it all again. Imagine that, yes, also, perhaps being there, just even if you don't believe this, just imagine it think about it visualize it and see how it resonates for you imagine it a little bit more expanded than that and imagine you get to have your life review 
through not only your own perception, your own shoes, your own feelings again, but through the actual feelings and experience that everybody else had around you your whole life. So in a snapshot, you get to feel everybody else's emotions about how they were feeling about you of every conversation you have, relationship you went through, growth you went through, shit you went through, beautiful times you had, all of it. And does that change your action reaction to the way that you put yourself in the driver's seat in your world right now, today, where you are? You can't change your past, and it's all there for our growth. We're all here to learn and mess up. It's cool. It's cool. But it's getting back in the driver's seat and having an understanding of that. And even when it wasn't cool at all, at the time, you come to this point where you realize it might have been all for a reason. You know? It's that it's that difference between that person that can help somebody else that's like, I, I, I had this the other day. I'm getting this again. That person that's like, aww. Honey, it's okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. It's okay. Do you want something? And that person's like, no, I've been there. That shit's shitty. That's a shitty place to be. I'm so sorry. And look, look, it's shitty. It's not, you know, it doesn't go away right away, but this helped me. Or this eventually happens. Or you eventually realize this and you learn that you gain more from realizing that shitty experience and going through that thing than you ever could have if everything had just been in the same old, same old, boring you know, 3D world of doing everything. Then you're just stuck and stagnant and nothing is expansive. Nothing is exciting. Nothing is a miracle, you know, anymore. Until something has to happen to bring you back down, to bring you that miracle, to bring you back that own, your own independent connection to God, to spirit, to creator, to love. We're all one. We're all children of God. We are all co-creators here together. You know, how we feel about our life is important. We need to trust that there is a way for all of us to use these beautiful energies, you know, and release the old things that we've gone through in the past. Be easy on ourselves, forgiving on ourselves to others that we're all here to learn. And once you learn, once you have awareness, once you release something and grow from it, you gain something. You gained more. You know, you can now help others. You can now connect to others. You can now see something a different way that you couldn't have seen before. You know, sometimes it takes something really weird or shitty or horrible happening around us to get us on our, on our knees again and to get back our faith. No, I wish it wasn't like that. I wish it doesn't it's always take something shitty. Sometimes somebody has an experience and they wake up from the hospital or a coma or something and their whole world has changed after that. They see like they're like a different person, you know, like Scrooge coming on back. And, um, you know, sometimes it takes the opposite friction to bring us back, to lift us up even higher, to make us understand how strong we actually are. So, um... That was a little sidetrack. Let's continue to the Guardian Angel Tarot. I know that was something a little different. Um, let's get clarity on the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to put the words away. Um, so they're, they're, they came out for that part of the reading, and we're going to move on to the Guardian Angel Tarot. Let's get clarity for us on the Ace of Pentacles. Um, a little more focus on what this is about and what kind of opportunity is coming in. Um, golden opportunity, a chance of a lifetime, um, a moment to shine, a moment to take a turn, a moment to actually hold something that feels like you're ready to go in a different direction and to feel how it makes you change, how it makes you turn, how it makes you expand and want to grow, not want to stay the same. This makes you want to grow. It makes you want to move. It makes you want to do something. All right, let's get another card for Wednesday the 4th. Clarity on the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Coins. The Ace of Discs. Sometimes the Ace of Shields. Ace of Stones. <laughs> the Ace of Autumn. <laughs> the 
Well, we have two. There's two. 19. Wow. Well, there's two and they're in order. So 19 and 20. So this is a major cycle. This is one thing that you get started with that brings you towards a major completion. I mean, 20 is big judgment. That's not just, that's not just this, here you go. That's, this thing is singing to you. There are bells, there are whistles, there are signs that ring inside of you to know this is for you. You're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss this opportunity at all. Or someone's going to say, hey, you know, this is a golden opportunity. This is really valuable. <laughs> you need to wake up and take this. You need to get on board. You need to take a chance. You know, go f go on a little journey with this opportunity and see where it brings you because it's bringing you yourself, your true inner nature of who you are, what you love, what connects you to your childhood self and that you that you were meant to become from now on, from this point on. It's a new uh, a new direction, a new chance to shine. This is op also opportunity. The 19's the sun, brilliance, opportunity, the chance. Um, I'm getting that sunset thing. Like when the sun is out, gr grab it, grab that opportunity. Don't wait for it to slip you by, waiting for the perfect lighting and to get everything right and get everything all like precise and organized and never, never get the shot, you know? Don't make so many plans that you don't have the experience here. Um, so when you hear this call with judgment, you know, think about what you've been through. Think about where you are now. Think about all you could do with this opportunity. Maybe don't think so much and just start. You know, maybe this is a little too much thinking and not enough doing. For some of you, maybe you're doing a little too much and you need to do a little more thinking to get clearly. This could go both ways, but it brings you a progression. It brings you on a path, on a journey where you're being recognized you know let yourself be recognized i see someone like telling you good job like do good job or we we want you to work with us on this or this person's amazing you should work with them on that project it's other people recommending you it's you just feeling good in the sunshine in the day dancing your dance in your rhythm dancing your tune, finding your beat, finding your harmony, finding your harmony with others. Usually there are two with the 19, like twins or a couple or like a brother and a sister or um, like two opposite and yet equally magnetic and uh, I hear attractive energies. So maybe there's someone just as attractive as you coming through. You feel like yourself, you are yourself with this person or somebody's feeling like they're they're completely open, completely themselves with you. This could be the first time you felt like this with a specific person or in this situation or you're entering into a situation where finally you feel like yourself. Maybe before you sort of felt like yourself, but not completely. And now like something's dropping, you're leaving something behind, you're starting something new. And the more steps you take, the more like yourself you feel. I just got the vision of the end of the never ending story where they have that grain of sand and the childlike empress is speaking to Bastion and explaining the wishes and she's like they're endless you can make as many as you want you know the more wishes you make the more amazing it gets so the more energy the more time the more expansion you allow yourself the more beautiful it can be be become you know than putting it in the box or going with what everyone else told you you had to be. This is you being yourself. And others recognizing that beautiful light inside of you. Max <laughs> just dropped the cards. So that beautiful light shining through. It's also you recognizing that light when it's there. When there's something beautiful you recognize. When there's somebody beautiful, handsome, it's you recognizing and reaching out and saying, wow, you're beautiful. And it's an honest compliment. Or even those shoes are amazing. Whatever comes out as an honest compliment, an honest um, word of advice even, that just comes out of nowhere, where you feel like the light came on in a conversation with someone else, and you're like, wow, it's like the light came on. I need to tell you this. Or that is how someone else feels, and they're like, I don't even know how you're going to I mean, with the judgment here, it could be somebody a little nervous about how the response is going to go. That could just be from past situations. You always dealt with a certain person. They always responded like this. Don't allow that to get in the way of whatever new idea 
opportunity this is. It's new. It's bringing you somewhere new. Release that old shit. If this is a new person, a new relationship, a new job, even a new sl a clean slate with the same person you're with, leave that other stuff behind. You know, let it all go and let there be a regeneration in the energy so it can blossom. So it be can become something new. You know, maybe it's a path together. Maybe it's a separation. Maybe it's two paths that go along and come together occasionally. I don't know why I'm seeing paths. There's also a boat here. And I see the birds. So I think of being connected to spirit. I see a little Peter Pan here. Maybe an, a little bit. Of, and there's like, this is like a kid. Maybe there's a little not wanting to grow up going around you or inside of you or there's it's a, you're too grown up and you got to go back to the Peter Pan in you um that made me think of that song um I'll put that below um the sun waving your flag there's like a little hat like a little paper hat and this one has a hat let me show you this and there's a boat so you're taking a moment to think and sit and transition you know, that transition doesn't come out all at once. It might just be a little bit of yourself opening up. A little bit of something you had locked away that you let out and you feel good about. Maybe you put it away for a little while and then you bring it out again. It's finding your own rhythm, right? It's finding your own um, freedom and feeling like that opportunity is for you because it's in tune with you. It's not pushing against you. If it's pushing anywhere, it's a, a gentle nudge or like a sign. I'm getting like a like hot cold. Like you're going to want to go towards the energy that's right and sort of like scoot away from the one that doesn't feel right. So 19, the sun, positive recognition. Congratulations. Your plans have worked out perfectly and now is the time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. So expand, open to what you don't know, what you don't know what you don't know. Something may be a surprise. It might be becoming coming behind closed doors and you imagine something else the whole time. And when you open that door, it's something totally different, but Maybe, you know, it's going to be something you're going to love discovering. Maybe it's something inside of you, behind that door, inside of you, you know, or something maybe about somebody else, about your situation that you never knew before. Um, it makes you feel good. It's bringing back joy. These are all really nice cards. I mean, this one can be a little tough, 20. It brings you to a two. So it's almost like the high priestess energy, that two, it's a major arcana, but it's got the zero around it. So there's a birthing through something. There's um, an energy surrounding it that ampl amplifies that two energy, that allowance energy, that feminine energy, the yin energy, um, the, the waiting to receive something, allowing yourself to receive something energy, but you're protected in that allowance. You know, allow what needs to come through to come through because it's in the higher purpose for you. It brings you to the higher, uh, like the higher connection, the higher level, the higher energetic frequency ultimately. So let what frequency doesn't feel right go. Whether that's a relationship, a job, attachments, whatever it is, they feel icky and they feel like they're holding you down and they're not allowing you to expand. It's time to let it go because there's expansion coming. It starts with that one idea, that one thing, that one thing you want to start get going, but you'll feel that expansion grow. It'll grow, you know, circle by circle, point by point. Eventually the pattern will come together, you know. So this is number 20, Major Arcana 20, review and contemplation. So it's uh, judgment. It's like the trumpet sounding, that song is for you and you've got to go. It's hearing that call, <laughs> the call of nature. It's calling you and you just got to go. <laughs> no questions asked. It's inside of you, this call. It's... Connecting inside of you something that you need to do. You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present. You'll get a clear, you'll get clear on your divine life's purpose. So you're like thinking about the past and in the present, but you're moving towards the future. Um, that just made me think of Mystic Man by Peter Tosh. 
So that's cool. I like that song. It's really funny. Mystic Man with the soda pop, the colored soda pop. Oh, it makes me laugh. It does, that makes me laugh, that song. So I'm glad that just that came through because that's definitely laughter and joy. Um, don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. Be different. Be unusual. That's that connection that gets you through. That's the special you that needs to shine. It's not about being the same old, same old and being, you know, just like everyone else, wearing the same clothes and being a clone. It's being unique. Your own special twist, your own path you've come from, the own, all your stuff you've gone through has made you you. To see something your way and that connection coming through is bringing a deeper understanding connection in you that's going to reach out there. It's a new level. It's a new um, cycle that's coming through here. And it, it's like an ending and a beginning. This beginning is coming through. So think about what you need to end, what you're leaving behind, how far you've come, and get ready to go. <laughs> just, I feel like you just need to get ready to go. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab these cards um, and end the reading a little bit different today. <laughs> the cards that Mannix made fall off the, co the couch. This is the secret language of animals. Oracle cards, I've used these before, but I never went to the book. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it does have a nice little like message part that I will read. So let's get one more card to bring clarity to the Ace of Pentacles. Number 19, the sun. Number 20, um, judgment or review and contemplation. That's much nicer sounding. That's so much easier than judgment. It's pretty, pretty, it's more like the trumpet. This is sort of easy. It's gentle. It's not that hard to do this. It's up to you. You know, it's something you want to do because you feel like it's bringing you forward. So just take a moment, take a moment, and let's get one more card for the day, Wednesday, the 4th. The Mountain Gorilla, number 12. So that's also a three, creativity. Um... It requires, requests, asks you to be creative, to be receptive, um, to be strong, to be powerful, to be in charge. Uh, I just think of a magnificent animal. I mean, just magnificent. It makes me think of the silverbacks a little bit. Mountain gorilla. Um, reverence, contemplation, community, and inner calm. So let's go to number 12. And see what message comes through with the mountain gorilla. Um, the message, the, when the gorilla comes into your world, she comes with the gift of reflection and deep inner calm. Born from the knowledge that you are strong beyond measure and wonderfully supported in this world amidst the rapid pace, press, pressures, and expectations of modern life. Gorilla calls you into the sanctity of your own magnificence, reminding you that you can create your own world based on values of peace, trust, community, and quiet abundance. That's cool. Got like trust in the cards. Honor your spirit of youth. So both within you and around you, be also respectful of your elders. Seek their wisdom and guidance as the doorway to the ancient knowledge that dwells within your own being. So that finding your own inner child and allowing that to shine. You know, allow yourself to be be like a be silly, be funny, you know, tickle, roll around, play tag, play around, find joy in your world, whatever it is. Play an instrument, join us, you know, join a gym, play a sport, play a game. Um um, dance around, you know, have good, have a good time, but make sure you're also respectful of those around you. If you're the kid in the house and you have someone in the house trying to sleep, you know, don't be a loud ass. Be respectful of your environment and find that middle ground, you know, so there's responsibility involved, but you can still have a good time. All right, so no matter what may be going on around you, Gorilla comes in as a reminder that we always have the ability to take the higher ground, to observe with great understanding to demonstrate deep inner strength in how we stand and speak and move. Do not back down from a challenge, but there is no need to chase it either. You are stronger than you know. Speak clearly and honestly from your center. Lead with a calm knowing and thoughtful consideration. 
seeking always the path that will serve all. Take time to share the simple magic of life with those you love. There is no need to rush around. Move with quiet grace and the path will rise to meet you. Wow, that's cool. You know, it's just going to come right before your eyes. The opportunities, like you're going to stumble on into it. You're going to know it's for you. You're going to feel right in this environment. Um, providing abundantly for all of your needs. Create comfort wherever you are by taking time for simple rituals of self-care activities that put you in touch with deep peace of your heart center. Where is your private sanctuary? Go there and find yourself within it. I breathe deep into the sanctuary within me. I am grounded. I am strong. I am whole and complete. Mountain Gorilla number 12. Great guys, I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon. Bye.